welcome to my channel guys so today's episode is going to be pretty interesting because I will be interviewing someone um, who is not the typical let's say entrepreneur or a business owner that I would usually let's say have on my show and she's a TV host or she used to be a TV host a very famous one uh, in Germany and her name is Uda Kock am Brink. I always say here's Mrs. Brink I never say Mrs. Kock uh, or Kock am Brink because they're always yeah. laughing you know. Exactly. <laughs> She's absolutely fantastic. Uh, she has been an entrepreneur before and uh, unfortunately also has stopped uh, her activities because she saw that you know her body basically couldn't take it and she really enjoyed TV hosting much much more. And uh, right now you know after quite a long term career on TV uh, she's going back to the entrepreneurship roots and going to be hosting her own YouTube show, uh, show uh, where she talks about different type of topics that uh, our society is very interested in and um, obviously thinking about monetization and how to continue about it so I'm super excited to speak to her and to show you who Ula is and I hope you really enjoy it So we are finally here uh, with the fantastic Ula. Hello. And I hope I say your uh, name uh, correctly. Because oh, this, this is very <laughs> complicated. Yeah, because uh, my boyfriend says it's supposed to be Ula. No, it's Ula. Ula. Yeah. Okay, so it's Ula. And uh, we met last year at a ladies' dinner. No, the complicated thing is my last name. <laughs> I, I tried. Try I tried. <laughs> <don't>. <laughs> I first was saying Koch am Brink. No. And then... People would say, no, it's cock. And yeah. I'm like, ooh, yes. it is cock. You know, when, when, <laughs> I, call, when I call England, I always say, here's Mrs. Brink. I never say Mrs. Cock uh, or Cock I'm like, because they're always yeah. laughing, you know? I, exactly. So um, I was like, no, it's literally Cock I'm Brink. Yes, it is. And it's very difficult to pronounce. Yeah. But when we met, um, she was such a fantastic lady and so inspiring. And uh, it felt like you really have so much joy in your life and you know how to have fun. And you had this amazing career, you know, that you lived on TV. Yes. Um, and now you're actually going solo. Yes, I'm, I'm going solo. Oh, you know, I was an entrepreneur when I was 27 years old. I, have, I founded my own company. It was casting, editing and uh, pr producing some small uh, films for entertainment shows, whatever. And after my mm, good career, career as a host for entertainment shows, uh, I was getting too old. You know, uh, in Germany, I miss one thing. It's age positivity. <laughs> So if people, women, especially women, uh, getting older in entertainment business, you, you will not get any jobs. It's totally different to men. Yeah. Men can getting 70 years old. They are still on TV, but it's um, in Germany. I don't know the reason why. And so I decided beside my job as a coach, as an author, as a journalist um, to make my own YouTube channel. Yeah. Without having anybody talking in and you shouldn't say this, you shouldn't do that. Um, this might be not successful when you're doing something like this or when you're inviting such a person like. Uh. And so I'm so free now in my life. Um, yeah. And it's very, 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 it's my harvest that I can do this. And uh, so the, the talk show is called Da geht noch was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if you translate it into English, it would be something, there, there's something else there. I there's say. something else there beside getting old and boring uh, or bored. Yeah. So I don't want to get bored. And I think my whole life uh, will be a good story uh, with new people, with new thoughts. Uh, I'm very interested in younger people. I'm very interested how they think. Uh, I'm, I'm very respectful to young people. Uh, most of older people say, yeah, the young people, they are not okay and they are lazy and their life work balance and uh, generation Z, generation Y. 
whatever. I think it's very important, and this is what I learned uh, in my first company, is listen to other people and take it's them important. serious and handle them with respect and look what are the abilities, not what are the mistakes. And when you found out the abilities by listening, then you can support this per mm. person much more better as a boss I was. Um, yeah. And so I love to listen to young people. Do you think you also started your YouTube show because of somebody, you know, told you you should do it or? Mm. Yes, somebody told me I should do it because I was a guest in, in, a, in a web talk show with Nico Gutia on YouTube and he asked me, what? I can't see you on TV. Why, why, why? And I said, okay, I'm too old, blah, 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 blah. What's that going on in Germany? And so he, he said, okay, then do your own business on YouTube. I said, hey, come on, people in my age don't listen or watching YouTube. And he said, of course they do. Yeah, a lot of the shows, everything is on yes. YouTube now. And you, you are a person, everybody knows you, and you, you are standing for a, a huge generation. Yeah. We have 30 million baby boomers, and I'm one of them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and so maybe you can represent with your themes, with yeah. your guests, uh, with your ideas, with your view to, to the world, or view to yeah. special topics. Maybe you can represent them. Mm. And uh, so I started to do it. Wie hast du es denn so mit Startups? Bist du eigentlich selber eins? Ich weiß es nicht. Ich glaube, ich bin auch ein sehr. Ich habe ja die Web Talk Show. Letztendlich ist man ja selber mittlerweile Firma und Startup, ne? Aber bist du nicht auch eins? Nee, weil äh, das muss ja immer was super Innovatives sein. Und äh, ach, das kriegen wir gleich das mit den beiden raus. raus. Ich ja? habe auf jeden Fall bestimmt auch noch Fragen. Ich komme später dazu. Ja, wie immer. Neugierig ist er. I think it's very important also not for the younger generation, you know, to have YouTube channels and all these crazy things that is happening there, right? It's, uh, but I feel like the, to find out about also people that are a bit older than us, it's also very inspiring, you know, what type of career they had, what kind of advice they can give. Oh yeah. And this is amazing, you know, and I actually don't see too many people uh which are reaching a certain age being comfortable doing this you know so why not because i think we are a very huge part of the society yeah. as young people are too of course yeah. and the middle age of of course but everybody has a voice and everybody can rise up his voice when he has something to tell yeah so this is very important yeah. and um I, I made so many shows and even talk shows and uh, so I think I'm a good representator for this idea that everybody has a voice and uh, it doesn't depend if you're looking young or old. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm 58 years now, I'm getting 59 this year and I'm happy about it because it's a gift. I have a lot of friends who died with 55, 56 or younger, even younger. And so mm -hmm. we, we should take an effort to see age as a positive thing mm -hmm. and uh, like uh, body positivity or, yeah. or brain positivity. This is very important in our country, I think. Yeah. Um, and so be, so maybe I have one or a second or three or 10 advices to lead your life um, and being Yeah, content, it's not always the big happiness, you know, not yeah. everything must be happy, happy, happy all the day. I have usually... my dark sides too. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't usually happen this way, yes. unfortunately. Yes. But to um... overwhelm this or to handle um, success, to handle success is not easy, even for mm -hmm. young people, because yeah. they think, oh, when I'm successful, I'm very important. No, you're not important. It's only your job. It's this where you, you are burning for, maybe. But uh, the real meaning of life is being a good friend, is being a good partner, is being a good mother or not, or father or uh, diverse, whatever you want to be. But the job is very important, but it's the integrity of a person is very important. Yeah. And not the shining. You, you know, I see this in Instagram and wherever, yeah. where people try to get some attention. Please give me some attention, please. But attention is not, uh, it's not like money, what, what you need to survive in a way in this society. Yeah. I mean, I think the, 
there, there's all these jobs, you know, that came through that nobody have thought of before that, okay, mm -hmm. I'm a blogger and I'm going to earn money um, this way. I mean, nobody thought of it this way that this is going to be a job description, literally. Yes, right? it's very interesting. I love that. It's, it's great. But these people, these very, very young people who start yeah. being an influencer or start being a very yeah. uh, successful blogger, um, what about when they are getting older? Yeah. What about when the next generation, this means three, four years earlier and not 10 or 20, like it was in my generation? Yeah. yeah. So what is going, going to happen to these persons? Mm. So you have to think about when you're doing social media, think about your uh, Selbstwertgefühl, your mm -hmm. own values, and that you are thinking about what are my abilities. Maybe I can do another job after this and I have to be prepared yeah. for this time when nobody wants to listen anymore. Yeah. Or, or watching anymore. And um, tell me a bit, because uh, you said that you had your own company mm -hmm. um, when you were 27. And I mean, what happened there? It, it was, uh, it became a bit too much at some point. Um, yes, it became a little bit too much because um, I started this company with my partner, Annette, a great person. We're still big friends and uh, it grew very fast uh, to 30, 40 employees. Yep. And then I started to host big shows. And this was too much for my buddy. My buddy said my system broke down. And um, yep. so the doctors, they asked me to change my life. Yep. And so I bought a dog. <laughs> and then I told my partner, okay, I stopped this business now. Please do it for yourself and I don't want to have any money or whatever because it was a wonderful company. But I do my hosting job now because I love it. I'm, I'm totally freaked out about it. Um, although I was very anxious, I had this uh, lumpen fever, mm -hmm. you know. Um, what is it lumpen fever in English? I don't know. Being afraid um, of, not cameras, but being afraid of the situation, getting very yes, nervous. Yes, very nervous. Uh, a few minutes uh, before the show starts. I, yeah. I, wow, it was so hard. And uh, I, I had to learn a lot. Yeah. And so I concentrated my life on this. And um, it's okay. But important is uh, when we are now in the advice corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of those. <laughs> important is to think about what's going after this. How do you feel after this? Mm. And, and so my advice is don't feel so important. Just relax. You're doing a show. A lot of people, it was 10 million people who watched my show, my biggest one. Um, after the 6 million people, 5 mi million, I had shows where nobody was watching and I was kicked <laughs> off the program. And how to handle all this stuff. Yeah. It depends on being um, down to earth. Always stay down to earth. You you have to realize your dreams. You can you can reach the stars, but in your mindset you have to be down on earth. Yeah, I totally believe in this, and um, I definitely saw some people already that get you know a bit of success, and they feel like they're so important. But it's, it's a trap. Right. Exactly. You have yeah. to stay a person, and you have yeah. to stay down to earth, and you have to believe in values that are true, right? It is something that, uh, like you said, you know, it's family, it's friends, it's true feelings. Yeah. It's, it's all being kind to people, be yeah. kind to people. Yeah. When there's a supermarket cashier, I'm always kind to other people. And it doesn't depend if it's he's the boss from the Deutsche Bank or yeah. um, cleaning the streets because yeah. they are human beings. Yeah, always be polite, polite to uh, refugees. Yeah. To black, yeah. to thick, to thin, to old, to young. So whatever, we are a community yeah. in a way. I feel, you know, my problem in this society in Germany is now that uh, we are very uh, split it up, split up in diverse um, religions in a way. The religion is, I am uh, against refugees. Religion is, mm -hmm. um, I want to destroy capitalism. Yeah. Uh, religion is, I'm vegan and everybody has to be vegan because I am vegan. Yeah, I, I, I can't understand this um, ethic moralic disaster. Yeah. And everybody wants 
to listen the whole same shit he's talking about. He doesn't want to discuss. Mm -hmm. He just wants to see his own face in the mirror. Yeah. And so on this internet uh, forums and rooms, whatever. Um, when I am a vegan, only vegan people use this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To say, hey, we are Good right. One. <laughs> yes, we are right. We are right. Good one. And yeah. All other people are not right. So, and um, I, I grew up, my generation grew up uh, in discussing and, and having some arguments against another position. To, it's, it was not a fight, it was yeah. a talk yeah. to, to understand each other. And this is what I'm missing here in Germany. But do you feel like also, uh, since we touched this topic, like uh, I feel, I, I hear from some people that they also say, yes, um, our kids or our grandkids are trying to um, reshape what we have ruined beforehand. You yes. know that there has been a lot of stuff that has yeah. been done um, in a way which definitely has harmed the planet. But it, it's so interesting because I uh, was very young when the Green Party was founded mm -hmm. with Joschka Fischer and all this stuff. And uh, they always proclaimed uh, green. So everybody has to, yeah. to take care of rubbish, whatever. What happened was, on the other hand, the industry, Germans industry, the car industry, um, the pharmacy industry, whatever, any industry, um, just worked further, as they always did. Maybe I'm not right in, in, uh, in details, but when they say, the young people, the greatest of this world, mm. world, they say, you destroyed. No, I did not destroy it because I was very cautious in my env environmental behavior. So I can tell it to, personally to me. Yeah, but not to the rest. No, not to the rest, not everybody, of course, but we have not the baddest system, you know. We, we, everybody's telling, uh, put the bottles into this, the yeah. green, the brown, the white, and the bio, and the yeah. plastic. But the plastic industry worked further. Yeah. And further and more and more and more. And now, thank you, Greta, for this and all the other people. Uh, you know, the supermarket, supermarkets are stopping now doing plastic bags. Yeah. And it's fantastic. Yeah. Really it's fantastic. That. So they did something, but, this, um, how do they say it? When they say, you destroyed everything, it's a little bit too much. And it's a little bit hysteric. I also feel this way because I think uh, also it was time of learning and there were so many things that we didn't know about the planet, about ourselves, like the medicine is progressing, obviously. Yeah. You know, all of these things are progressing and there has been, I'm sure, some mistakes that were made but at the same time, we were learning, you know, just like owning a company and failing or, you yeah. know, having a TV show and failing. Yeah. And as we are learning now. Yeah. 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 Not especially me, because I know all this stuff because I'm very curious. I'm reading five newspapers each day online, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, because of the paper. Don't use too much paper. We don't uh, need it this day. Yes, we don't anyone. need it this day. This is um, yeah. a good effort, you know, and uh, I, I don't print anything anymore. Yeah. You can send it digital, yeah. the digital, digital time, you know, I'm not used to speak English, sorry, um, is very, very interesting and yeah. very exciting to me. And I'm so happy that I have now my YouTube channel. It's digital. <laughs> <laughs>You know, I think the next time I will have an interview with uh, a priest, mm -hmm. um, a male priest who decided in the age of 50 to live as a woman. Oh. And this priest, he has five children. And this was hard for him, hard for his family, hard I can't for his imagine. church, yeah. you know, wow. but he did it or she did it. No, well, she, she did know. it. And uh, I'm so curious uh, how the psychology is running around when, when, you, when you make a life change so hard. 360 degrees, I would yes, say. Yes, it's 360 degrees in a way. Mm -hmm. oh, 800, uh, 180, 180 is enough. Huh? <laughs> it's one turn, I think. But, um, or I will talk about um, 
um, a lady who makes uh, like like uh, partnership or elite partner. She makes a partner. How do how do you say Vermittlung? Uh, you mean like she met her partner through like the Tinder date, or something like this? Yes, app, yeah. dating app. No, she has not an app. She does it personally. Ah, personally. Okay. And she found a new way and a new digital way to bring people together. Okay. And I will talk to talk about uh, this. And maybe is it a difference when you are getting older and, and looking for a new partner? Uh, because you, you, everybody has his story be behind. And yeah. it depends uh, how how heavy the stones are you are wearing on your shoulders. <laughs> yeah. I think it is. I, yeah. I, I think it is. I mean, uh, my mom has been on Tinder, but really? it didn't work out. <laughs> it didn't work out. It didn't work out. But I think Tinder is a, little, a sexual thing, isn't it? Yeah, we felt this way. Yes, I think so. I we were swiping this. through the guys together, you yeah. know, just to yeah. see. <laughs> But, I would never uh, do this with my mother. I had, I had never done this with my mother. Yeah, so maybe yeah. it's a difference in, in your generation yeah, that you're yeah. much closer to each other. Yeah, maybe and, and uh, it parents. is more acceptable yeah. uh, of these kind of things. And I don't find it bad. I think uh, that she should be happy and that I want her to be happy and find uh, someone who can kind of support share her life, yeah. and share exactly experiences with her. Yeah. Uh, but definitely online was super difficult. And uh, now we're thinking, okay, maybe old school style is a bit better. I know some so. smart guys. Maybe, ah, I, <laughs> maybe I should introduce you. Yes. Which are singles. So, yeah. 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 Fantastic. We got you a date, mama. <laughs> got you a date, mama. <laughs> So I will definitely, you know, I will definitely um, leave your link to the show because oh, I thanks. really, I mean, if you speak German, it will be perfect. Yes. Uh, if you don't uh, still watch it, because uh, maybe you will have, will you have some um, transcripts or it's just purely it's German? It's too expensive at the moment because yeah. um, I pay everything. I have to wait until I have, I heard about this, until I have 10,000 people who will oh, yes, watch this. Yes, yes. And uh, everybody tells me it will last two years uh, until you get, will get this. And yeah. so I'm very patient now. Oh, and this is not my way of living, being patient. <laughs> but I promised myself, be patient and go on, and I will go on. Hey, we're doing it together, so yeah. <laughs> let's see who gets be there patient. first. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know that it's going to be at least a year, um, yeah. but probably longer yeah. until you get to a certain point of yeah. following. And definitely we have to do a lot of manipulation, you know, to actually get more followers in. Um, and my next question is about uh, monetization. Have I don't thought? have any idea of monetization because. Uh, but do you want okay, to? Uh, yes, of course I want. I I want to find uh, a partner, maybe who do some uh, commercials. Yeah. In front of my video head commercial or in between, I don't know. And uh, this this can be one to three partners, mm -hmm. or you have a head sponsor who pays your production fees, whatever, yeah. and do some commercials in between. And of course, this can be, my skin is perfect. <laughs> Looking for the skin sponsors. Skin glowing in, when you're getting old. <laughs> so what I don't want to, to see in my YouTube channel is our commercials for getting thinner, so diet things, because oh, no. I hate this terror of, um, yeah. of this diet. Uh, terrorism and um, but um, anti-age things or um, some supplements like vitamin D or whatever yeah. so maybe I will find this maybe not and I told myself when I didn't achieve my aim in two years I just stop it then so I put some a... money into the sand uh, we say so in Germany yeah. but I have a lot of fun yeah. And this is worth it. Fantastic. Yeah. And it's good that you also kind of have a cut line in a way. Yes, I think it's better. Uh, whatever you're doing, um, you have, of course, you have an aim. First thing yeah. you want to achieve this and that and that. And then you will think about the way you can achieve this. And then you think about, okay, 
this was not the best way, let's change to another. And after one or two years, you must admit I made it or you must admit I failed. Yeah. And failing is great because with, with the right way of analyzing it, you make your experience and then the next thing is coming. It's yeah. great. This is life. Yeah. That's fantastic. And I totally believe in that as well. Uh, that failing is not something negative. Yeah. And I wish also, as I see, you know, as we are in Germany yeah. and <laughs> you know how German people are. Yes. Um, and I absolutely love the country. I love where I live yes. right now. Um, but I feel like sometimes people are very much afraid to fail um, yes. and they're very careful and they, you know, will check 1000 times until they're like, should I really go for this idea or not? And I wish there was more risk taking in this country uh, to actually experience more things. Yes, uh, the mentality, the German mentality yeah. is uh, being uh, vorsichtig, careful, careful, anxious. I want to feel safe the whole time in my life. Safety first, safety first, yeah. safety first. And uh, I took a risk when I was very young. I stopped my studies and entered the world of television. I didn't know, uh, will I be successful? I, I wasn't interested in being successful. I was interested, interested in doing television. Yeah. And um, so I had a good luck. Yeah. So, but uh, when you when you will do something, just do it. And you know the second or third or fifth thing in Germany is uh, we envy a lot. Mm -hmm. So if somebody is successful, we can't clap our hands. We can't open our hearts. When when I was very successful with over ten million uh, watchers in TV. Mm -hmm. um, People came and say, oh, her belly is too thick. Her mm. nose is not uh, nice enough. Uh, her language is too direct. Um, mm. She's a domina. Uh, nobody said, you know, in the press, yes, yeah. especially. They, they didn't say, hey, come on, we have a nice show. Let's have some fun. Yeah. And, and I, I can't understand this mentality. I'm, I'm still getting sick of it. How was it to deal with this uh, kind of things? Because um, I think uh, it must be very difficult as well if you read this kind of stuff in the pa in the papers. About Today yourself. is harder. Today is harder for all these people who are now in te television and who are who are quite successful in tele television. Mm -hmm. um, social media is the hating pot, not the melting pot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and uh, I don't know how they handle it. That's Singers, fun. hosts, uh, journalists, um, print journalists, TV journalists, everybody is hanging around in front of the camera is, is criticized or hated yeah. in the internet. And it's uh, really a cultural, maybe a worldwide phenomenon. Phenomenon? Well, we, we, we all, um, I think uh, our brain, in a way, is programmed to, uh, to, uh, to let's say, react to very negative things. Right. That's yes. why we have so much it's a negative. Protection thing. Yeah. yeah. That's why we have so much negative media, and uh, I believe someone um, is still trying to do a project where we read a lot of positive media, mm. but nobody wants to read it because it's not interesting our enough. Bad news <laughs> are good news. It's yeah. a very old sentence, and yeah. um, nobody can change it. But I feel now we have a little cultural change in Germany with all these discussions about being fat or not. Uh, it's, it's a guy. Hey, come on. Yeah, we're human beings or um, young people who make social media very, very su successful. We accept it slowly, slowly, slowly that we don't want to kill our minds in killing other minds. Mm. And uh, I think we have bigger problems than all yeah. this stuff. We have problems with the terrorism. We have problems yeah. worldwide with hunger and water yeah. and energy and environment. Yeah. Uh, but in Germany, we, we are so 
fast in saying, me, 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 it's bad, me, 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 it's bad. Uh, they should say, hey, okay, bad, 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 good, 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 yeah, <laughs> like <Yes>. this. <laughs> But have you ever experienced maybe any other countries, you know, that, um, I don't know, maybe you've been to U.S. and you saw a different mm -hmm. uh, type of uh, attitude also in TV yes. and... Uh, it's very different. In U.S. or even in Netherlands, mm -hmm. in the Netherlands, um, when people are successful, they say, hey, we love you. Yeah. We love you. We like you. You're a wonderful person. Or even in in US, if somebody's failing, they say, "Hey, come on! You made a good effort. Stand up again. Do the next. Clap your hands. Fantastic. Nice, buddy. Huh? Yeah. And if somebody is successful, they say, "Hey, you got a wonderful car. Wow, great! So you mm. made your money. Great. Like so this is so different here in Germany. And yeah. I, I, uh, it's not my mentality, although I'm very German. Huh? Um, but in some topics, not. Yeah." Okay, so you've been an entrepreneur, you've been a fantastic TV host and had an amazing career. Um, you decided now to also kind of get into entrepreneurship again, but solo, uh, promoting your YouTube channel and mm -hmm. your YouTube TV show. And let's see what happens. I really hope that you will be successful with this. We'll see. Because I, I truly believe in the concept and I truly believe that you should do it. And it's great that you're not afraid to do it and you're not afraid to discuss all these questions. No, I'm not afraid, not at and all. And this is amazing. <laughs> and uh, What I'm, about you? Are you afraid? Me? No. Why should I be afraid? So. <laughs> <laughs> never be afraid. No, never be afraid, I feel like. And um, I feel like I should at least try certain things in life. And if I fail, okay, at least I try it. Yeah. You know, so I, I rather try than not try and then wonder what it would be like. Let's okay. try together. Yes, we will try together to grow our YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Why since, not? Since we're actually starting off uh, at the same time. So Ula already uh, had her show uh, live. You already pu published how many shows? Three. Uh, or three. I'm going to publish in two weeks. So you will guys see it in like two weeks. Okay. I will follow and you on Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> I think you do already. I, I do, yes. <laughs> you do. I will do some comments. Yes. Great, Carolina, wonderful, go forward. <laughs> yes. Um, but um, one more, let's say, advice, not maybe just to younger people, but also to older people, to people of your age, or maybe people even older. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. It's the only thing you got. And you know, when I'm looking to my watch, I don't wear it. Uh, but I know I'm 58 now. Okay, it can happen that you are next week, that you're in a hospital and somebody is telling you, you will die no. in two weeks. No. Uh, so try to do the things you really love. So uh, look into your soul. Okay, I'm hungry. What am I going to eat now? It must be something which I'm really hungry on, off, whatever. Really excited about. What I'm really excited about. And so this very conscious uh, uh, looking what's going on in my brain. What do I need now? What do I need not? Do I need these friends still? Because maybe they are more vampires than friends. Uh, do I need this party? No. I stay at home watching TV because uh, I love to watch TV at this moment. I don't need to go to a cocktail or to, to huge um, television events. Okay, three or four I have to do. Yeah? So being a little bit in speech or whatever. Yeah. But that's it. S live your life very open, private, self-conscious, and uh, be aware of your soul and wishes and emotions. Fantastic. Yeah. I think this is great. And what I took out of this is a take care of your body. So A listen, bit, yes. so listen to, <laughs> no, listen to your body in yes. terms of yeah. not stressing yourself. So yeah. not stressing. If you feel like you cannot do um, certain work, you know, don't overdo it. Um, I think don't not to be afraid, right? Yeah. And just go for it. 
and let's just explore different things and this is literally what I really really love about people like you and yeah. be you're... always on fire <laughs> yes <laughs> and you are always on fire every yeah. single time I meet you you're just like full of energy you're like a fireball and this oh, is sometimes. amazing I can I can be very quiet I don't believe this. <laughs> but, but, no, no, you, you will not be happy when you're making an interview with me and I'm sitting there. Yeah, of course not. Mm -hmm. I don't see you this way. <laughs> but, but I do. I, I'm sitting a lot on my couch and thinking about things and or watching serials. <laughs> Binge watching. We're, we're, we're all people. Hey? Yes, and reading. Yeah, it's nice. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It's been amazing. Guys, I'm going to leave all the information about Ula, uh, Kok <laughs> Ambrink. And uh, please check her out. Check her out what an amazing person she is and what she has done uh, in the past and doing right now with her YouTube show. And definitely follow her. She's an amazing, amazing person. It's enough now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.